So you, you pretty much you analyze taxes. What? How do you see the taxes system in Nepal versus America? I haven't uh, had a chance to work in Nepalese taxes for a long time. Uh, when I was here, a very I, I had a very little interaction with tax here. Uh, America, I have fairly good knowledge of taxes. Uh, it's very complex in America. Uh, the tax law is thousands and thousands of pages, uh, pages, and plus they have regulations, and plus they have so many things in taxes. So it's very complicated. Right. And plus they they change the law, they change the code uh, at least ten times a year. I mean they insert some certain things and they take out certain other things. So it's always like changing. Yeah. Uh, regulations are changing. Uh, code is changing. So. So it's, it's really, uh, at times, it's really hard to be on top of it. So you are, uh, you love number, you are the number guy. When did you fall in love with Ram Nam? Well, since my birth, <laughs> I guess, because uh, I was born in a in a very uh, religious family, right. uh, both my mom's side and dad's side. Right. And then, so yeah, it's, 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 it's in my it, blood. It's a, it's a family. It's a family. It's my blood. So it's not only, uh, yeah, Ram Nam, and plus, I, I'm very curious. So. I, whenever I travel, I try to learn people's uh, what they believe in, and then uh, so I kind of like uh, started looking around and learning different faith and how they behave, how, what what the teachings are, and so I became familiar with like a lot of different religions around the world, yeah, yeah. and I try to find commonality between different religions, and I find like uh, they are pretty much the same. So. Do you have a guru or do you follow the spiritual in path? I do. Uh, my guru, uh, he was he was a mahanta in, in a temple in Janakpur. He passed away a long time ago. Uh, and then uh, our family belongs to Ramana Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya. Uh, but I follow all the all the teachings. I, I, I respect all the gurus and I, I try to learn what they say. Absolutely. So, what is like profession like you, me, what's the uh, best uh, type of retirement? Wow. <laughs> well, do nothing and just uh, do Ram Ram Jap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason we are here, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's the reason, final destination. Yes. <laughs> just jap, Japo Ram Nam. <laughs> yeah, Japo Ram Nam. So, we'll go to the Mahayagan and, and we'll discover more. Definitely. So, um, you travel a lot also, I see. Is Saal, Is Saal, I have traveled a lot. What is your favorite, uh, favorite uh, travel destination? I have traveled, uh, I won't say all over the world, I have, I have traveled uh, like Caribbean East. Caribbean. Yeah, Caribbean. I mean, I've, I've been to uh, St. Martin and that I love that place. To Jamaica? To? Yeah, it's close to Jamaica. Uh, yeah. Kids, what is in St. Martin? Is like it's just sand, it's it's sand and sea sand. And, and sun. <laughs> sand, sea and sun. <laughs> yeah. On a clear water, clear water, yeah. warm, clear water, yeah. and uh, sun and sand and sea. So, noon is the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, pani ma chay noon the way also. They mani, they mani. Ramro pristine environment. Uh, Hawaii is also good. Uh, I like to be close to water, of course. Of course, yeah. because you live by the water. Yeah, I live by the water. So, what is importance to you? Inner beauty or outer beauty? Both. 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 Both one of the garas and both one of the garas. So generally inner beauty, of course. But um, you know, I mean, if you if you think about it, when people 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 are beautiful inside, they are beautiful outside also. Right. It's not Apple advertising, right? No, it's not. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, uh, beautiful people inside are beautiful outside. You know, just like it's not just the roof. It's it's like the package. The package. So. What is a uh, retirement plan for you? What do you, what do you plan to do in next 10 years? What, what do I see you in next 10 years? Uh, I plan on being uh, more in Nepal going forward. I'm, I'm, well, I cannot leave USA, uh, of course, because my family lives there. My kids are there. My, I have two houses there. Uh, so I hope to be in Nepal like eight out of 12 months and at most not more than four months in. That's the most in the USA. So it'll be more like 10 months here and two months there. That's yeah. what I, I see myself doing. Yeah, I see pretty, you know, very well, uh, you know, the people who have well finance and good planning, they are, they are choosing this life. Why? Yeah. Because you already burned out. I've been working uh, for the last 32 years. I'm 51 now. I started working in Nepal last time when I was eight, not even 19, when I was 18. So, mm. 
If you think about it, did you start with the ball boy or no? Ch- I, 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 <laughs> <chai guy. laughs> almost, almost. I was a. Did you did you start I, from I, the mama shop or? I was a junior clerk. I mean, oh, junior clerk. Yeah, okay. it's, it's I'm just Sahayak. Kidding, yeah. yeah. So I started as a Sahayak, and from there I I went to study uh, in India. Did my charter, came back, became a second class officer, and then quit that one, and then uh, went to went to USA, and then now I'm burned out. Yeah. Nothing to wrong with the chai wala. He's a prime minister of some country. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you have to work. You have to, you have to do something to live, right? Yeah. And uh, as a chai wala, you learn. Yeah. <laughs> how to serve the customer? Exactly. That is the most important. Exactly. Right? <laughs> how to make tea and how to serve it. <laughs> right, right. And, and make them feel that he will come again. Yeah. Right. So, what is the number one problem in the CPA industry? Like, what, what kind of you know, because we I have not in the industry it. is fi- finding a qualified staff. Qualifiers. That's that's the biggest challenge. A mm-hmm. uh, lot of staff. I mean, uh, first of all, they don't want to be a CPA. All they want, generally, the staff I hire are fresh out of college, and then you train them for a couple of years, two three years, and by the, hopefully, like, and then you hope, okay, now they will give some return to me. Okay, they will do some good job for me. They quit. <laughs> they, quit. they learn and quit. They learn and quit. And then yeah. they have to find another one and train them again. So keep that. That becomes a trend. Then you get burned out. Then it's a, every time you have to do what yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Right, it's right. really hard to uh, retain staff, mm. uh, especially in my area because I mean, we are let's see, 45 kilometers. I'm sorry, 45 miles from uh, LA Metro. And of course, like pay scale in LA Metro is higher than us, but our staff don't realize they have to travel one and a half hours there and right. <laughs> travel back one and a half hours right. <laughs> okay they go after money and then so that has been that has been the tr- biggest problem for us so we are at the end of the interview now so and i have a couple of questions one question is you know nepal and usa don't have tax treaty yet mm-hmm. so what is going to impact a lot of nrns right now you know very successful in usa they want to open business in Nepal. Mm-hmm. So, what is going to happen for the uh, you know, double tax uh, system? Both places, you have to pay tax here, there. What do you, can you well, do? they they will have to pay taxes wherever they first uh, earn it, of course. Mm-hmm. So, if they earn it in Nepal, they have to pay Nepalese taxes. And in the USA, since they tax worldwide income, mm-hmm. then you file your tax return in USA and claim the taxes you paid here as a credit. Great. So you can do that. Or if you are here, uh, there are some certain rules for foreign earned income, where like certain amount earned in the foreign land is exempt from taxes. Yeah, something like 300 days apart or 360 days. Right. Like that. Yeah. So there are certain rules. So uh, I haven't done one lately, mm-hmm. but there is some rule uh, where some foreign taxes, foreign income is exempt from taxes, or they they give like. Uh, they won't tax up to hundred thousand dollars. It was such certain limit. Mm. Uh, besides that, there is no yes. That is correct. There is no uh, double taxation treaty. There is no tax treaty between. Do you India. think you need? We need the treaty. We need a treaty because now there is a core manpower, uh, Nepalese manpower, uh, working in in the USA and also vice versa because uh, it's international uh, job market, international uh, economy. So yeah, we should we should have one. Absolutely, because I see in South Asia most of the country has it. Yeah. I don't know who who is not. Maybe it's like both countries. I mean, somewhere the ball is somewhere. Yeah. But hopefully they will have it soon. Yeah. With this interview, I would like to announce my you know candidacy for the NRN ICC, and my core one of the core mission I want to work for is uh, Nepal USA tax treaty. Tax treaty. Maybe do something. Do the homework. Do the lobbying. Whatever it takes. So. All the best. I need your support. Absolutely. I need your donation too. Absolutely. देखा आपने अनीता घर शिफ्ट करके नए घर में जाने वाली है। अरे हाँ गुप्ता जी बता रहे थे मॉर्गेज रेट हिस्टोरिकल डाउन चल रहा है। घर परचेज कर लिया होगा। कैसे? साथ जेपी मंडल होम लोन ऑफिसर से। और हाँ मिस्टर थापा ने भी तो नया घर खरीदा है। इतने दिन हो गए रेंट पर आते अब तो 2021 भी आ गया तुम कब खरीदोगे नया घर रुको अभी कॉल करता हूँ जेपी मंडल को जेपी मंडल को ये कौन अरे जेपी मंडल होम लोन ऑफिसर घर नया खरीदना हो या फिर रिफाइनेंस करवाना हो सब में बेस्ट है जेपी मंडल अरे वाह घर का सपना पूरा करें जेपी मंडल होम लोन ऑफिसर के साथ कॉल और टेक्स्ट फोर वन फाइव थ्री जीरो फाइव सेवन फाइव वन नाइन जल्दी करें लो कॉस्ट का फायदा उठाए कॉल और टेक्स्ट फोर वन फाइव थ्री जीरो फाइव सेवन फाइव वन नाइन कैल डी आर ई नंबर जीरो वन नाइन सिक्स थ्री फाइव फोर जीरो एन एम एल एस वन टू फाइव सेवन टू थ्री टू